I recently posted a video doing a short build and initial impressions of the Bixler 2 and one of the things that I demonstrated in that video is the fact I managed to figure out a way to do two position flaps on the model so that I could have half or full flaps when coming into land. This is a video that just explains how I managed to make that happen and the mixes and other bits and pieces that I've done on my trusty DX7. So if we actually show the flaps in operation, it's going to all be done on this switch here on the shoulder, which is the three position switch. This is the um, version for helicopters. It's Although it's set up as an acro model, this switch in the corner, which is usually used for idle up in a helicopter, has three positions and allows me to set those three positions for the flaps. So what I'm going to do is to... Um, very quickly show you this video. So here we are with it actually working. And the way it's set up is that the mid position for the servo is half flaps and the fully extended position of the servo is full flaps. So rather than have the servo set up so that you have the full range of movement with the middle being one end, the servo goes from one side of center to the other, one side being flat, the other side being fully extended, and the mid position being half flaps. The other fun part, of course, with the Bixler 2 is that you have to set up a uh, mix here because the way it works is that the two servers have to be slaved together because one of them has to be reversed, and I'll show you how that's done here. So let me zoom in on the screen and we'll go through the mix and how I've set it up to make it work that way. So here we are zoomed in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'll go into the mixes and the first thing I'll show you before we get there is in the travel adjust menu this the flap and aux 2 are both set and plus and minus 70 percent so that is the limit of the travel of each of those channels now what that means is that 170 percent represents the level flap and the other 70 percent represents full flaps with the middle position representing half flaps so you have to set them both up this way because what we're going to do is we're going to slave those two together working off the switch in the top left hand corner without three positions and we'll reverse one of these channels. So what we'll do is we'll just jump through and we'll find the mix. So that's the mix that you can see in one of my other videos of how you actually create a throttle cut for an airplane. This is the mix that we're interested in. Now if we select flap as the master for this mix, AUX2 allows us to actually set the um, flaps in one of three positions. So what we do is we mix the flap channel that the switch at the top left hand corner controls. And again, that channel has maximum endpoints of plus and minus 70%. And we say mix that AUX2 channel to the flap channel. Mix the rate at 100% on both the high and low end of the channel and don't give it any offset. Now what that does is that means then as I move the AUX channel, which you see at the bottom, the AUX channel moves up and down. Yep. So we go from 70% to middle to the other 70%. And you can see that the flap channel that slave to it is actually jumping around as well, but in reverse. And that's the key to the Bixler because the other channel has to be reversed. So to do that, what you do is you go into your channel reverse menu. You select AUX2 or flap, the one you need to reverse, and you just reverse that one. So the way you do it is you set up the mix initially in the radio. You plug the servos into the AUX2 and flap receiver channels. You then... Um, see which one of those is moving in the wrong direction and you reverse that one here so that they're both going down. Once you've done that then you 
uh, make sure that the switch is in its bottom position okay and then in that bottom position you set the link to have the servo and the flap level so when the servo horn is in its most rearward position towards the wing then that should mean that the flap is level and basically recessed on the wing then at the middle position don't worry about that because the radio will take care of that but then the full position will be for flaps so again to go through that very quickly what you do is you set up a mix here where you mix aux 2 to flap because aux 2 it is controlled by the shoulder switch you don't need an offset but you do it on the switch it has to be switched on once you've done that you wire up the model you see which ones are uh, moving in the wrong direction and then you either channel reserve, channel reverse the flap or the aux 2 channel to make sure it's moving in the right way if you have too much movement then you can adjust the end points from 70 to 70 but I find this works perfectly for the Bixler 2 and gives me what looks like a, a great throw on both flaps either side and then you mechanically connect the servo when it's at the most rearward facing position on both sides to be a level flap so that half flap is in center in the middle and then full flap is when the servo horn is in its farthest forward position as you can see in this video so hopefully that makes sense for you out there looking how to do this um, and if you don't have a dx7 hopefully it's give you an idea of how you can use the, the mixes to make this happen on your radio thanks for watching please comment and subscribe and happy flying